Hi everyone, it's Natalie and today I am here going to do my July monthly spread. So this month I have the July kit from My Newest Addiction and I picked this up in semi-gloss paper. So um, the first page here has the header bars for the left and right sides of the pages and it says she dreams of the ocean late at night and longs for the wild salt air. So really pretty. So this is a double box here to cover up all of this and then this is just a header bar for that side. The second page here has some bow clips and then balloons. Then you've got little date flags here and then a blank one as well. And then you've got your labels. So you've got four dollar sign labels, four bill due labels, four birthday labels, and then I have no idea what these are. It looks like a document and then like, I have no idea. So I actually just, I'm posting in the Facebook group to find out what people use them for because I'm not sure. And I love how there's a little heart on the other side so you can check things off when they're done. And then you've got some blank ones here. And then the next page here, you have your sidebar stickers. So you have this one that says monthly goals, then the two sackable sidebars, two full boxes, which I guess will need to go here to cover up those days that were in June. Then you've got headers, important next month, bills, remember, happy birthday and to do. And then you've got some more little labels down the side. So it's a pretty small monthly kit to what I'm used to so I might have to pull into my own icons and other bits so um, yeah but let's get started so the first thing that I'm doing here is using my white out tape to white out um, the header bars on the um, top of the planner on each side so just really the black bit so I had to white out like July 2017 the really dark um, little I think these are geo circles or something and then the weekly bar that goes across just because you can see it through um most sticker paper I'm I don't know now that I'm looking back I probably could have gotten away with it with this sticker paper um because it's the semi-gloss from um my newest addiction and um the colors are a bit deeper but I did that anyway and I did um white out the goals header in the sidebar as well so on the left side of the page I just used the header bar there which is so pretty and then I'm placing the header bar on the right side of the page as well. It just makes such a difference once you put down the basics of the monthly spread. And now I'm moving on to the sidebar. So first off I use that monthly goals um, checklist that um, is in the kit and then I'm using a to-do header with a um, checklist. I usually use that section to write um, what books I'm reading and then I'm using the other checkbox with an important header and I think this month I'm going to use that section um, for things that are coming up um, in the next month because uni is picking up again. And now I'm just taking the two full boxes that came in the kit and just popping those on the dates that belonged in June up the top there on the left side of the page. Um, I was kind of disappointed that the um, header bar on the right side of the page didn't come with a bit that you know flowed seamlessly to cover up these two um, boxes um, so yeah and then it didn't come with any other full boxes so that was it which usually like with other kits you get some more box, full boxes to put out in the spread so that was something that was a bit of a drawback but it still looks gorgeous anyway I really love this um, design and now I'm taking these little date flags from the kit again and just placing those on with my eyelash applicators um, I've never used little date flags before and um, they do look really cute but they are quite big um, but I definitely had to use these because I had the beautiful pattern in them and I just think anything else would not have looked as great so I love them they look really cute and now I am pulling in these little payday money bags from Little Miss Papery these came I had a few monthly sh monthly kit sheets that came in some grab bags from Little Miss Papery which worked out really well because I needed a lot of the stuff from those sheets to supplement with this kit so they all those little money bags are my paydays 
um, and I've used those to mark those out. And now I'm taking these bill due stickers from the kit and marking the bills that I've got due. So I've got like on the 5th, um, the 14th, the 11th and the 28th. I did have more bills due than that. So I used the dollar sign um, labels as well for some of those. Um, I differentiated those by using the ones with the dollar sign were ones that like came out as direct debit or something like that. Um, and now moving on to day by day, I think, um, I am taking this birthday label because um, it was my cousin's birthday dinner and we went to that. And I am also taking just a plain label there um, to mark that uh, catch up with some friends of mine. And I also had to pull in icons from this kit for this kit and I use mini icons from Squirrel Prints Co because the kit didn't come with any icons at all um, so those little clinking glasses I used for that and then I did pull in some flags as well these are pink and purple watercolor flags from creative cuts um, and I'm using I use that flag on the second there with the dollar sign icon from Squirrel Prints Co to mark that I need to release some funds then moving on to the third I just use like this little appointment little thing because I had an event on it's not a little thing it's a label um, and then I use another label with a um, that uh, fox and cactus planner stick up to mark same but different week. And then from Little Miss Papery, I used that little dot and laid it with a little asterisk to mark um, the start of the school holidays. Then on to the fourth, um, Degrassi came back. So I used a label and a TV icon for that. And then on the second, I... Uh, of the seventh, sorry, semester one results released for university. So I used a label for that and then um, the blow clip that came in the kit, which are really, really cute. And I use those bow clips for uni stuff throughout the month. Um, then on the 10th and the 13th, I'm using those little bullet point dots and the asterisk layered on top to mark um, orientation begins and then um, supplementary exam period beginning. And then on the 14th, I'd use those same stickers to mark that school holidays ended. Um, on the 10th, I used a label and a bow clip sticker to mark um, the release of the SUP exam timetable. Then on the 12th, I used a label and a Squirrel Prince Pro TV icon to mark that suits is coming back. And then on the 15th, I used a label with a shopping cart icon um, to mark that the Finders Keepers market is on. And then on the 16th, I marked another TV show, um, Game of Thrones is back on. And then I used um, another bullet point dot and asterisk from LMP on the 19th. Um, I think I already explained that the supplementary exam period ends. And then on the 21st, the same stickers again to mark that orientation ends as well and then I moved on to um, the 24th where I used a little washi strip to cut it down to write week one of the semester from Little Miss Papery and I just cut that and popped that there and then um, I am using um, oh no I've lost my train of thought hang on um, on the 26th I used a birthday label because it's my uncle's birthday and then on the 25th, I marked that Teen Wolf is coming back, which I'm so excited for, but sad at the same time because it's the last season. And then I moved back to the first, which I totally forgot to do. I used a flag from Creative Cuts and then dollar sign icon um, to mark some funds. And then I used an appointment label with this with a car icon to mark that my blood, I need to have a blood test. And then um, I did use another label and a shopping cart icon to mark that the Holy Day market was on. So, yeah, I think that's everything that I filled out. Um, then I did go off camera and use my Muji gel pen in 0.5mm to fill everything out, which was incredibly tough to do. Um, this paper, I think it leaves a residue on the pens and it makes it dry out. So I would not recommend that pen to use on this semi-gloss paper. Um, I discovered that by using the Paper Mate Enjoy gel pens in 0.5, it was much better. Like it glided on seamlessly. So um, yeah, use those pens for that. You need definitely an inky pen um, to write on this paper. 
And now I am taking my Once More With Love Wacky Holidays and placing those throughout the spread. I always use these. I love them. They're so fun. Um, and I don't know. They just make your spread look really full as well. I love Disneyland Day on the 17th. The castle is so pretty. Um, and yeah, they're all just really, really cute. And you can see I've used the entire page. And yeah, so that's everything that I filled out in my spread. Oh, there's lipstick day as well on the 29th, which I love red lipstick. Um, yeah, so um, this kit, while beautiful, there's lots of functional stuff missing. So if you're a minimalistic monthly planner, I think this kit is for you. But I just, I do love the design of this kit. Um, it was definitely the favorite kit that I saw for July. Um, now I'm showing you all the tools that I use and what's left in the kit. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like it, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Versus Scribbles and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.